I want to talk a little bit about chain of thought reasoning. Pretty much every popular model at this point is a chain of thought model. The telltale sign is when they pop up some thinking, you know, text. It'll take maybe 30 seconds and then give you back the actual output that you requested. For researchers, one component that's actually interesting is that they give us context on why the model is making decisions yep. that it's making. Yep. How are they using the chain of thought token stream in order to actually try to do this, this interpretability research? Yeah, it, it's actually surprisingly easy. You give them this quiz and you give them the answer key and you tell them to be, hey, be really truthful when answering the questions and tell me why you answered them. Now, what you would expect is that if this model is being maximally truthful, it would also have to explain to you, hey, like, j just so you know, like, I did this step of calculating like the answer, but in addition to that, I knew what the answer was to begin with, right? So that's what you would want the model to do, right? That is basically the benchmark. And so what, what Anthropic did in this paper was they tried to basically analyze their models and say, if we give them the right answer, how often will they say that they answered the question because they had the answer to begin with? And I think it would only acknowledge the fact that it answered the question because it had the answer like 25% of the time. That feels pretty deceitful, right? DeepSeek R1 apparently acknowledged that it had the answer around 40% of the time. But this broadly, like this type of research into understanding whether models are honest falls into this idea of like faithfulness. I actually think it might be a little flawed in some sense because to what extent do you actually know what the model is thinking? But its output might not actually correspond to what is actually happening internally in the model. But anyway, like if, if you buy this benchmark, I think it is still an interesting finding in the fact that the model acknowledges it less than half the time when it has the right answer. I think that is actually pretty telling.